Hey y'all, here I'm again with a new update from the TNVDP front, my dropping replacement for the 9918 uh, in FPGA. Here I bring to you a different core, I'm not using the 9918A. Uh, uh, instead, what I'm doing here is uh, I got from the EZ MSX3, I got the V9958. Uh, VGL from there and I just make it work to a real hardware there are several challenge because it's not a I'm not interfacing FPGA FPGA is real harder than FPGA but I managed to solve all the problems and here you have it running it runs pretty much the same but instead of the 9918A with the extensions we have at 9958 but unfortunately the tang nano 9k i can only synthesize 32k of vram i cannot put more so these uh, 9958 has 32k uh, what can i do with this that's interesting uh if you look here this is a a, a a rom that i'm using here this rom i extracted from my other uh, Yamaha CX5M228. Uh, this is an uh, a MSX1 computer with a 9938 and has this sub ROM that has extensions like to, to add eight, 80 columns. And if I plug here, I didn't change anything, I just plug there and it works the same. So if I go to basic and do with it 8. I just got 80 columns. I can call system again. And I did a, a small batch file, so I'll run it and... There you go. Uh, MSX DOS and 80 columns using the, the Yamaha CX5M2 Subro. Uh, I'll, I'll put on a show you some demo I did did a quick demo on this this is e so here I'm using the 256 color mode you see uh, it garbles my screen uh, wait it has only 32k how can you display 256 colors well it turns out that I wrapped up the, the VRAM, so the VDP thinks we have 128K, but you don't have. And in this mode, in 256K, we, what we got is we end up with half resolution because two different addresses falls into the same memory uh, because the way it, it, it separates the bank, the, the, the uh, even pixels fall into the lower address and the odd pixels go to the higher address and with this since you wrap up 32k both adjacent pixels fall into the same memory position and then you have instead of 256 color sorry 256 pixels we have 128 pixels resolution still can do something but you still have to write 54k because you cannot jump uh, to jump pixels it's more costly than write a full pixel and what is interesting is that some games partially work for example let me show you a list i need to to skip the screen so look the the splash screen works because it has the bitmap mode that only has 27k right it feels into the 32k okay correctly it works all the colors and palette everything is working but if i try to run the game let me see here i don't understand well so yeah when it gets to more than 32k you get a problem for example here <laughs> wow. 
you see that scroll is working, the split screen is working, multicolors, sprites. It's just that the runs wrapped up, so you have garbage read, not garbage, but you have all the bytes right, written over and over where it wasn't supposed to be. Let me show. Let me show a different game. I'm getting the Tang Nano 20K, the new boards from Saipede, and with this K, this Tang, they have a low latency SD run, so I I, I may be able to to add the 120K for the 9958, so I can have a fully working MSX2 using it or MSX2 Plus. Uh, scramble formation is funny. So the first screen works, second screen too. But when you get into the game, you get everything wrapped up. You see, this this wasn't supposed to be seen. But look, these brights, everything is perfect. perfectly. Yeah, so won't get far, but it's garbled text. But yeah, that's it. It it works. It's uh, an option to use for MSX. It's more interesting to have a 9958 than that other core. And yeah, it, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.